Hi, this is Brad, and in this video I'm going to show how to create a wall with uh, doorways in it in uh, 3ds Max, export it out, and then import it into the Unreal Engine 4. So, we'll get started here. Oh, and with Collision uh, attached to it. So, what I'd like to do is I'll go ahead and start. I'd like to just create a box, and uh, <clears throat> and really what I'd like to do, Alt-W to uh, maximize my screen, what I'd really like to do is take uh, some realistic numbers, I guess, and the uh, width I'll use, my wall will be six inches wide, uh, and then I know it says length, but, and then I'd like to make a 20 foot long wall, so 20 feet times 12 inches is 240 inches, and then the height, I'd like it to be 10 feet tall, 10 feet times 12 inches is 120 uh, units. So that looks good, and then I will zoom extents. So this will be my wall. What I kind of like to do is uh, decide how uh, the doorways, where they're going to go in, in, uh, in advance. So I'll actually go into, uh, I need to increase the width and height segments here. So I'd like to put two doors in here just to show how it works. And uh, in order to do that, I'm going to have one, two segments going this way. And then I'll have, actually I only need uh, two segments, what I say, two. And then I'd like to, um, the doors, so there will be a side here, a door here, that's two, another piece of wall here, three, doors four, and another piece of wall five. So I actually need five segments for here. That looks pretty good. I kind of like that. I'll go into modify, and my modifier list, I'm actually going to add an, add an edit poly to it. And before I get started on this, I'll go to front view, and I don't like perspective view for doing this. I really prefer to go to an orthographic view, like the front. There it is, and let's get rid of the grid, because it's pretty much just annoying. G, to get rid of the grid. Okay, so, oh, and you can't really see the lines too well, so let's change the color of it. I'm going to make it like a dark blue so that you can see the lines better there. Okay, so now what I'm going to do is I need to get some heights here, and... Uh, couple ways you can do it. Sometimes I just go into here and actually create a box the height of the door that I want. So I do that pretty frequently. Uh, I don't need to have any depth to it, but I guess I could. Uh, oh, now it is length this time. So I'm going to have an 84 inch tall door. That's 7 feet. 7 times 12 is 84. And uh, the width, I would like it to be 36 inches that looks good and the height just really doesn't even matter so because I'm not concerned about that and uh, my segments they can all go back to one if you right click on a spinner in 3ds max it takes it to its lowest level if that's one or zero in this case it's one for segments and uh, now I'll just change the color of my door so that I can see it against the blue background here I'm not really concerned. You, know, you see that shadow there? I don't even like getting those shadows. It's, that's because I'm in realistic mode. I'll click that and just go to shaded mode. And it gets rid of those shadows right there. So I'm placing my door, or at least my where I would like my door to be, there. I'll hold shift and drag to duplicate, and this is where my doors are going to be. I'll just say OK. Now I'll select this piece right here, and you can see that nothing matches here where my doors are going to go. So I'll go into Modify, and uh, I'm in Edit Poly, I'm going into Vertex Mode, click, and I'll just click and drag over these center vertices and drag them up until it matches right there. That looks pretty good. I'm going to click and drag over these vertices and pull them over until it's about to the edge there. I'll do the same thing here and just pull those. They get pretty close. It doesn't have to be perfect or exact for the stuff that I'm doing. So if you'd like it to be perfect and exact, you can. Um, so I kind of like that. So I'm going to turn off vertex mode. I don't need these uh, doors anymore. I can either delete them or just throw them out of the way or whatever uh, on there. And uh, notice that it doesn't show the segments when I'm uh, when I when it's not selected. If you press F4, that will show uh, shaded plus edged faces on there. Okay, so I'm going to select my wall, and what I really need to do is delete these pieces. So I'm going to select polygon mode, and I'll select that and that, and I really need to delete these pieces. So if I hit delete, 
you'll notice that it kind of leaves a, uh, a hollow. You can see the inside of the doorway there, and that's not what I want. I really am going to need to have a surface here and up here and down there. And here you can see all the way around. If I look up in there, you can just see inside that doorway all in there. So let me show you a trick that I've used uh, plenty of times in order to um, create those edges. Just a quick easy way. I'm actually going to do both of these at the same time. So I select both of those and I will go down into extrude and extrude settings. And when this comes up, there it is. What I'd really like to do is simply extrude these and I already know I made this six inches wide. So I'll extrude this six, enter. Whoops, wrong way, we need to go negative six. And in fact, I'm gonna undo that. Or not. Let's go, negative six. There we go. And see, there it is, it fixed it. All right, so negative six, it comes out this way. And look what it did. It automatically made these edges so I can't see inside the walls anymore. So that's pretty cool. So it already made them. I'm going to click the green check mark just to um, commit the change. There it is. And I'm going to hit the delete key on my keyboard. It deletes those walls. Select that, holding control, and select that, and hit delete again. All right, so what I did was I created those uh, surfaces of the doors there. However, one thing remains. Some of you are screaming, what about the extra vertices? So yeah, they're there. So normally you would think I would have two, four, six, eight here, and eight here would be 16, but watch what happens when I select these 16 vertices. Look at that, there's actually 24, because when I extruded it, there's um, overlapping vertices here. And so there's eight vertices uh, that I'm going to have to delete or weld. So I'm going to select all of them. They're already selected. I'll click on Weld Settings. And uh, even with a 0.1 weld threshold here, look at that. Before I have 44 and afterwards the weld, I'm going to have 36. So it gets rid of eight of them. It welds them together. I like that. Watch this number, it's gonna go from 24 to 16 as well. So I'll click the green check mark to commit the change. Now this says 16 vertices selected. Now I've got the edges of the doorway there and my vertices are welded. That looks pretty good. All right, so this is going to be my wall with doorways in it. I kinda like it. And uh, let's name it. How about wall uh, W, doorway. So wall with doorway um, or doorways since there's two. All right, so wall with doorways. Now I'd also like to create a collision model for this while I'm in here. So let's go ahead and create a collision model. Now collision models in UE4 can't have concavity to them, meaning this doorway is concave and it's not actually going to create a concave collision model with it. So I have to create these pieces independently so I pretty much need to pick the most, uh, probably the most efficient way to get some models in here. So I'm actually going to choose, there's going to be four collision models that I'll bring over with it. So I'm going to duplicate this piece right here. So, and the way to do that is I'll just go up here, I'll select it, go up here to edit, clone, and let's make sure it's a copy. And then in order to uh, to make it a duplicate, get rid of the 001 at the end of it and we're going to have to rename it a couple different things. First of all we're going to put capital UCX underscore in front of it and uh, that's an Unreal Collision model and then uh, afterwards I'm going to have to put uh, underscore uh, 01 after it so that I know that it's the um, so I know that that's uh, it knows that that's the one all right, so I'm good there, and and all right. So <clears throat> so anyway, so I'm going to put zero one on there at the end. So it's capital U C X underscore the same name as the original model wall with doorways, and then underscore zero one. We're going to make four of these collision models, and I'll just say okay. All right, so you can see up here. Here's the name in the upper right hand corner. 
And because it's got this edit poly, I'm going to make this really simple. I'm going to detach some of these pieces. So, uh, and I'm also going to um, click and I will control C to copy that name. It's just going to make things a lot easier. I'll take this piece now, this element, and I'm sorry. Uh, yeah, I'm just going to take uh, in polygon mode, sorry. And what I'll do is I'm going to start detaching pieces of this. So I'm going to start by detaching this piece right here. Notice I got front and back of it. And uh, I'll come down here and just click on detach. You'll see it right down. Detach. There it is. Detach. <laughs> All right, so I'll click detach and it actually detaches it. I'll come back and name it in just a moment. And then uh, still with my polygon mode selected, I'll select these and hit detach. Let's see, let's go to detach settings. And uh, this is where I'm going to detach it. Hit control V. And we'll call this one, we'll make that other one 02. This will be 03. Say OK. Now I'll select this piece and detach settings, control V, and like this 04 and say OK. All right, that looks good. Over here, I'm going to turn off my edit poly. And let's go back and select that one we didn't select before. And let's give it that name, control V. And let's backspace over the one, make it UCX underscore wall with doorways underscore O2. All right, that looks really good. So basically what I've got here is five models. I have my original, uh, which is wall with doorways. Then I have each of the pieces individually. I have this one, I have this one, this one, and then the piece over the top. And there are four different collision models. I'm going to select them all. Notice it says five objects selected. Also it says it down here, five objects selected. I will come up into file and then export selected. Oh, one other thing before we do this. Let's make sure the pivot point is correct. So I'm going to um, bring my grid back, G. And I always like to make sure that my pivot point is right in the center there, which it's not. So I probably should have done this before I um, before I did all those because watch what happens if I change my pivot point. If I affect pivot only, center to object. Look at that, they're all centered, which is fine, that's okay. But then if I were to go and align them and bring them all to the center, uh, it would cause problems. Anyway, I'll just move this a little bit. You know what, we can do this. Right click, let's make this uh, um, absolute world on the y-axis. Let's just make it uh, three because we already know the width is six. I'm just cutting it in half. Uh, three is right there. And let's do three again. No, it's not going to do it. What about six? Yeah, I'm not sure. Negative six. Too much. Negative three. <laughs> anyway, I'm just going to pull it over. There we go. Maybe I can hit that. Hmm. Anyway, not going to worry about it. I kind of like it where it is, and uh, I'll bring it right in there. All right, that looks good. That's where I want the centerpiece to be. My pivot point will be right here on the model. All right, so now let's go in and export it. So file, export, export selected. And wherever you want to save your exported stuff, this is fine. I'll just save it in the 3ds Max export folder right there. That's where I'll use it. And uh, be sure and give it an, an, an appropriate name. So this will be wall with doorways for me, wall with doorways. And I'll just click Save. Now, when I'm going into, um, when I'm going into the Unreal Engine, uh, two things that I like to change here. I make sure smoothing groups is checked. And then also, instead of having automatic with inches, I turn that off because UE4 is now centimeters. So instead of inches, you're going to have to check change it to centimeters to make a, a scaling factor there. So 2.54, there's 2.54 centimeters in an inch. And uh, everything else here looks good. And I'll just say OK. All right, that's it. It's finished. It's done. I'm done in 3ds Max. So I'm going to minimize Max. And uh, that's going to be it for this video. And I'm going to start a new video importing it into here. So 
Thanks for watching that, and uh, watch the next video as well.